There are 150 people who might not be alive today if it weren't for Captain Sullenberger and his crew. We invited some of the passengers to reunite with them in Charlotte, North Carolina, the city that was supposed to be the final destination for Flight 1549. Hi. Amy Jolly. Hi, Amy. Thank you. How are you? You're saving my life. You did an incredible job. Thank you. Really, really, really proud. Thank you so much for bringing my husband home to What's me. What's your name? Sherry Leonard. Judy. Hi, Judy. Thank, Thank you so much. We kept our family together. You are our hero. Yes, we're Thank you. the whole crew. I'm okay. a celebrity and my personal hero. Did you uh, ask you to sign my shirt? Right there. <laughs> you got it. Let me make it awesome. big and bold. Where were you sitting? I was in 16B, but we helped with the raft. And I saw you, you yes. Get, you guys gave us all the courage. More than one woman came up to me and said, thank you for not making me a widow. Thank you for allowing my three-year-old son to have a father. You're very welcome. Wow. It's unbelievable. One man had told me that, you know, I was looking at him, he was in first class, and he seemed to be very anxious, and I just told him, just, you know, be calm, and, you know, just try to breathe. I can't tell you how frightened I was that we were coming down, and I was just thinking, this person is looking at me, and she's telling me everything's going to be fine. Thank you again. Good, good to see you. He showed me a picture of uh, himself with his um, niece, and the niece, um, was the child of his um, brother who was killed in 9-11. And he told yeah. me he didn't think that his family could take losing a second son. My brother was a firefighter killed at the Trade Center. In the whole way down, I'm thinking, my family is not going to survive this. I've got to get off this airplane. I can't believe that everyone walked off that airplane. It's a miracle, and I, I really thank you. 155 is a number, but when you can put faces to it, and not just the 155 faces, but the, the other faces, the wives, the daughters, the sons, the fathers, the mothers, the brothers, you know, it's, it's, it gets to be a pretty big number pretty quickly. I simply wanted to thank all of you for coming. I think today was as much and as good for me and my crew as it was for you. Uh, we will be joined forever because of the events of January 15th in our hearts, in our minds. Goodbye. It was an emotional experience for all of them, following weeks that Captain Sullenberger described as surreal. There was the Super Bowl. Please welcome the crew of U.S. Airways Flight 1549. The inauguration and a chance to meet the president and a celebration in his hometown of Danville, California. Chesley Sullenberger is a true American hero. But like many of the passengers, the crew members are also having difficulty processing what happened, including Captain Sullenberger. One of the hardest things for me to do in this whole um, experience was to forgive myself for not having done something else, something better, something more complete. I don't know. But it had such a good ending. Yes, it did. And it could have had such a terrible ending. I know. But do you play this over in your head? The, the first few nights were the worst. When the what ifs started, the second guessings would come. It made sleep hard. Like what? Just uh, replaying it, you know, the flashbacks. You know, did we... Did, were we aware of everything we could have been aware of? Did we make the best choices? You know, all those kinds of thoughts. And when you think that way, do you regret anything that you did? No, not now. Captain Sullenberger says he plans to fly again, but he's not sure when. For now, he and his family are finding comfort going through the mountain of mail he's received from all over the world. Mr. Sullenberger, great job. I'd like to buy you a beer, albeit a cheap domestic one, $5 enclosed. 
God bless. <laughs> Dear Captain Sullenberger, in a world that seems to be full of bad news, it was such a wonderful day on January 15th. Think about not only the 155 passengers, but all the families who belong to these people. Dearest Captain Sullenberger, Big Apple hero, yesterday I received a voicemail from my 84-year-old father who lives on the 30th floor of a building with river views here in Manhattan. Had you not been so skilled, my father or others like him in their sky-high buildings could have perished along with your passengers had not you landed in the river as you had. As a Holocaust survivor, my father taught me that to save a life is to save a world. As you never know what the person you've saved nor his or her prodigy will go on to contribute to the peace and healing of the world. Bless you, dear Captain Sullenberger. New York loves you. That is my favorite one. Yeah, yeah mine too. You've been called a hero by a lot of people. How do you feel about that? I don't feel comfortable embracing it, but I don't want to deny it. I don't want to diminish their thankful feeling toward me by telling them that they're wrong. I'm beginning to understand why they might feel that way. And why is that? Something about this episode has captured people's imagination. I think they want good news. I think they want to feel hopeful again. And if I can help in that way, I will.